everybody, Chris Schaefer for Potsky Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little bit different. There's roadside waters all over the state of West Virginia where they stock with trout. Today, however, we're gonna jump on these railroad tracks. And we're gonna walk back into the wilderness and go try to catch trout in a place where they do a little bit of rail stocking. This is the left fork of the Buchanan River. And we're gonna show you that if you're willing to do a little bit of walking, you can find some really nice rainbows. Now, we're told they put some big rainbows in here today. So we don't expect to catch a lot of fish. However, we're hoping to tango into a couple pound rainbows. See if we can get into some action right behind these railroad tracks. Big one. Oh. He destroyed that fire bait. Did you see him come, come and destroy it? I might move the rest of it. Oh, flipper. Oh, he's screaming, dude. Is it a rainbow? Yeah, that's a real good one. Look at him all the way over there. Oh my gosh. The size oh. of that rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Would you look at this beautiful rainbow? First drift, fire bait in the hole. It came around, swung. Hey, I got him good, and I'm finally on the board. First fish, first drift. Hopefully it's not a jinx and uh, we'll send them home. Now a lot of people are probably looking on their map right now and going, where in the heck are these guys? <laughs> to be honest with you, we really don't know. Uh, we basically put it in our GPS and started in Elkins and ended up, you know, we, we saw a little bit of the lower Buck Cannon on the way. Lower Buck Cannon seemed like it was a lot slower, a lot of more meandering. There were a lot of fields along the way. But once we got all the way up here, this is closest to the community of Alexander was the nearest actual community we could find on the map and sure enough as we got up this high and this remote everything changed just a solid solid fish i mean I, he almost reminds me of old humpy here look how thick he is got a big hump on his back there just a good looking fish b team's on the board here and hey can't get any better you know you see a lot of tumbling pools you see a lot of big rocks in the middle of the river the water's crystal clear it flows a little bit more and that was great for trout fishing you know trout obviously congregate in these areas and because it's higher up the water was cooler and it's one of the prettiest places we filmed that in West Virginia and that's tough to say because literally everywhere we've been in West Virginia is a beautiful place now one thing to consider is when there are rail stockings this isn't the only system in the state I mean so many people talk about all the different rail stockings throughout the state of West Virginia. You know, Shavers is a, is a, is a famous one. You know, they, they do the Buchanan River. Uh, you know, this is, remember, this is the left fork of that river. They do other places all throughout the state. The only place we know in the country that actually stocks by rail, you know, catchables, there's other places that may do put and takes and stuff like that, or put and grow, sorry. It's just a beautiful place to come and it allows you to get away from other people. That's the one thing we always, I don't know about complain is the right word, but have to contend with when we come to West Virginia is, it doesn't matter if we're fishing on a Saturday or on a Tuesday at one o'clock in the afternoon, there's always crowds no matter where we go. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from deep in Mountaineer country. We're in West Virginia right now and we're on the left fork of the Buchanan River. Matter of fact, most people in West Virginia have probably never even heard of this place, but it receives a tremendous amount of stocking, and it's not for everybody. And what I mean by that is, they don't stock alongside the road during this section, okay? They take an eight mile section, and they only stock it by rail. Uh, many anchors are unfamiliar with rail stocking in West Virginia. You know, we've been all over the United States and never seen them do this anywhere else. I know they do stock by plane in California, you know, other states stock by float plane. Other states do float stocking where they can kind of spread the fish out. In West Virginia, they use the rail. Uh, this is a cooperative program. You know, one of the local coal mine companies basically provides a rail car. And then state of West Virginia provides a stocking car. It's like kind of like a cart. And the cart is pulled by the rail car. And what they do is, in this specific situation, they take fish all the way from Elkins uh, and they drive them up here in a typical stocking truck like you'd see anywhere in the state of West Virginia. And they transfer those fish from the stocking truck to the rail car. And then they take that rail car, they use the stocking truck, and they push it along the rail system. And this specific section right here is roughly an eight mile section which is not roadside water. This is designed for people that want to get out and they want to walk. Uh, there's a lot of private property along the bridges and the roadside areas here. However, 
If you walk the railroad tracks, you can fish an eight mile section that doesn't get the crowds that you would get in many of the other roadside waters in the state. Now this section right here is only stocked with rainbow trout. And on this recent stocking, they put some bruisers in here. I'm talking one, two, three plus pound fish. They're amazing trout. Now, they don't stock any other species in here. However, there are native brook trout to this part of the river. Uh, and they also have a wild stocking program. What I mean by that is they don't take a truck and they, they don't stock brown trout. However, what they do is they put fingerling browns in this section and we're told that they actually get some carryover on these uh, and they get some natural reproduction uh, on good years where there's a lot of water. Now today, we only use two baits. We use the chartreuse, garlic, Potsky salmon eggs. Boy, when they found that garlic smell, the rainbow trout just demolished them. And we also use peach garlic fire bait. I would say 75% of our trout today came on peach garlic fire bait. Uh, and every one of these fish was a beautiful trout and we put them all back so you guys could catch them. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.